cry, perhaps, from the tensions and stresses of the operating theatre to the homelier problems of a suburban kitchen. But this is a film about stainless steel. A film to show you how we at Perth Vickers help to make it at home in every environment. In case you hadn't guessed, this washing machine tub is made in stainless steel. But here in the kitchen, where there is so much stainless steel, its attractive appearance and ease of cleaning is taken for granted. Hey, there's no need to polish that tub, it's stainless steel. Though she doesn't know it, there's quite a history to that tub. And it all began when a well-known maker of home laundry equipment decided that the time had come to adopt stainless steel for this application. To look into the problems involved, one of our area representatives invited the client to our head office in Sheffield. Perth Vickers have branch sales offices throughout Britain, each staffed by teams of representatives who maintain close liaison with customers, keeping them advised of all the company's products and activities. A meeting with the general sales manager is typical of the way so many projects have started, with discussions ranging from supersonic aircraft to steam irons. Our works produce stainless steel in many forms, sheet, strip, bar, plate, castings and forgings, and can therefore offer a comprehensive supply service. Before commercial considerations give way to the technical aspects, the general sales manager outlines the help that can also be given publicizing the end product and providing marketing aids. The questions that must now be faced concern design modifications, fabrication processes and production. And most important of all, choice of the correct grade of stainless steel. To deal with these matters, a member of our technical liaison department is called in. This department is staffed by engineers and metallurgists and acts as the liaison link between research laboratories the works metallurgists and the sales organization and in this way is specially equipped to investigate any problems that occur in customers works or in advising on the best way to tackle a new fabrication. The project is discussed with the technical liaison officer. During the following months he will pay many visits to the customers factory working closely with their engineers and production personnel through development and prototype stages. The liaison officer confers with his manager to decide the best way to tackle the job. And the first point to be discussed is the grade of stainless steel to be employed. There are, of course, over 50 different standard grades. The technical liaison team devote a major part of their time to the investigation of new fabricating techniques and the development of new uses. Here, for example, is an investigation of protective plastic coatings for the cold pressing operation. Another is a new welding technique capable of attaching studs or similar fasteners to very thin sheet without disfiguring the other side. In new uses such as motor car bumpers, design receives the fullest consideration. Close collaboration also takes place between our technical liaison team and companies dealing in specialized equipment. One example is the use of high frequency induction equipment specifically designed for the softening of deep drawn components. The process is automatically controlled and is rapid and economical. Heating can be confined to local areas if required and only the lightest of discoloration occurs on the surface of the metal. Our technical service is backed by comprehensive research laboratories. The laboratories where, in fact, stainless steel was first discovered in 1913 and subsequently developed, since which time a vast wealth of experience has been accumulated. Just as stainless steel has progressed, so has laboratory equipment. Microscopic examination, for example, is now aided by the electron microscope. Similarly, in the testing of heat-resisting steels, this thermobalance automatically records the change in weight of the test specimen as the experiment progresses. Research into high strength materials is continually in progress. In addition to room temperature tests, facilities for sub-zero and high temperature testing are also available. 
Greater demands, too, have been imposed upon analytical methods. New melting techniques have made possible stainless steels with carbon contents less than 0.03%. This, then, is the organization which created stainless steel and provides the basic knowledge that enables these engineers and technicians to adapt it to a washing machine tub. The grade of material has been chosen, in this case, Staybright FST Steel Type 302, and design modifications are being suggested to simplify manufacture and make the most economical use of the metal. In the customer's factory, much work now lies ahead, with the making of prototype tubs the first objective. A combination of pressing and welding has been decided on as the method of fabrication. This, together with the high strength characteristics of our Staybright stainless steels, permits the economical use of thin gauge sheet and strip. The whole project now becomes a concerted team effort, and the production engineer and his staff quickly learn the characteristics of the material, and you will see how effectively they adapt standard equipment to suit it. Staybright stainless steels, although extremely ductile, are also very tough. In press work, therefore, high holding down pressures are required. Otherwise, this occurs. In the case of a single action mechanical press, greater restraint is put on the blank by increasing the pressure on the air cushion. The pressing of the base of the tub is not in any sense a deep drawing operation. It does, however, involve, during this first operation, a wide flange which will subsequently form the base of the tub surrounding the agitator. It is essential, therefore, that the flange be kept flat and free from any surface damage. You will have noticed that a square of brown paper is placed under the blank for the first stage pressing. It was found that such a procedure on this particular press gave the consistent high standard of pressing required. The excellent surface finish of the blank has been maintained and wrinkling prevented. This then is the base of the tub produced on a medium powered single action press. For full scale production, it was decided to use material for this project in the form of blanks in order to reduce handling. However, if required, we could equally well have supplied either sheets or coils up to five and a half tons in weight. Let us now look at the production of the other part of the tub, the main body or wrapper. The strip is first trimmed under a blanking tool to give the dimensional and edge accuracy necessary for the subsequent butt weld. Again, the blanks are brought to the machine in the packing case. The wrapper of the tub is formed by automatic argon arc welding, a technique which can be applied to very thin material, in this case 0.022 inches, and produces a neat smooth weld which need not be ground or polished. Assistance on the design of the jigging arrangement was received from the aircraft industry but the actual manufacture was carried out entirely in the customer's own workshop. Care in jigging is of paramount importance, as the edges must butt together perfectly. It is for this reason that a prior blanking operation, as you have seen, is introduced. Should there be any misalignment of the edges, this is the type of weld defect that can occur. The production personnel quickly devised a fixture to ensure precise location of one edge. It is then simple to position the other edge correctly. This automatic setup was not achieved without considerable time and effort, but it is a rapid and economical method of making a joint that needs no further attention. A weld runoff tab is used to avoid any imperfection at the edge of the wrapper. The two parts of the tub have now been formed but a few operations, mainly the punching of holes, are still necessary before the two are joined together. Being a bulky object, the wrapper could present a floor space problem if storage were necessary. 
With stainless steel, however, this problem is eliminated, as no finishing treatments whatsoever are necessary. The stainless steel manufacturer provides the properties and surface finish required. This production layout covers a floor space of approximately 70 square yards and is capable of producing 3,000 tubs per week. The final operation is the resistant seam welding of the wrapper to the base. Like all the previous operations, this is carried out on standard equipment. The finished tub is fitted into the unit, ready for final testing and inspection. It will give a lifetime of trouble-free service and completes, in every sense, a washing machine designed to meet the needs of the discerning housewife. Quantity production of washing machine tubs, fabricated from stainless steel sheet, calls for large-scale production capacity by the steel manufacturer. A short tour of the continuous sheet mills at our subsidiary company, Shepcoat Lane Rolling Mills Limited, illustrates our ability to deal with such demands. Slabs five and a half inches thick are first rolled in a hot reversing mill. This is followed by rolling in a fast hot steckle mill, where during passes through the rolls, the strip is alternately coiled in reheating furnaces situated at either side of the mill. These furnaces maintain the temperature of the strip necessary to reduce it to three sixteenths of an inch in thickness. The stainless steel is now in wide strip form and is coiled ready for further processing. Cold rolling is carried out principally by Zenzimir mills capable of reducing the strip to very thin gauges with an overall high surface finish. Intermediate softening may be necessary depending upon the degree of reduction required. Continuous lines are used to deal with this as well as the final softening and descaling. Finished coils are then transferred to the sheet warehouse. Where customers have facilities for handling coils, these are available in various widths in weights up to five and a half tons. The coils pass through various stages of inspection before being finally weighed and packed for dispatch. Strip up to 12 inches wide is produced from coiled sheet. After slitting, the strip can be further cold rolled in our narrow strip mill. Alternatively, sheet material is available in standard or special sizes. The coil is first fed into a continuous cut-up line which shears it into lengths. These are then passed down a shearing line where the sides and ends are cut square and true. Customers' individual requirements for circles for such items as motor car wheel discs saucepans, teapots, and of course, washing machine tubs, are supplied in a wide range of stay bright and stainless steels. Throughout the cold rolling operations, particularly in the inspection and dispatch bays of the sheet warehouse, tissue paper is interleaved between all sheet surfaces to protect the fine finish. Finally, the material, whether in coil or in cut sheet form, is carefully packed and prepared for dispatch to customers throughout the world. Whether it is stainless steel for Great Britain or for distant lands, for industry or for the home, it can be relied upon to withstand the rigors of the many service conditions to which it may be exposed. Tableware, kitchen utensils, domestic appliances, cutlery and flatware are designed on the most modern lines. They are labour-saving, easy to clean and will last a lifetime. On motor cars it has proved its value for bright trim and accessories 
in resisting the hazards of road conditions, particularly in the winter months. In consequence, car cleaning becomes less of a chore. Regular washing with hot soapy water is all that is needed to maintain the attractive luster. Fatigue in gardening too is greatly reduced with stainless steel implements. Heavy soil doesn't clog the blade and cleaning is simple. The development of stainless steels has had far-reaching effects in other fields too. In the brewing industry, where it has been employed for more than 30 years, there is an ever-increasing demand for stainless steel beer containers. Designed for robust service and easy handling, these containers can be cleansed and sterilized quickly and effectively. They are interchangeable for the storage and transportation of carbonated beer without the least risk of tainting or transfer of flavor. Even on the dairy farm, stainless steel is making life easier for the herdsmen and helping to safeguard the nation's milk supply. The bulk collecting system, devised and operated by the Milk Marketing Board, eliminates the need for churns, since the milk is taken directly from the cow and filtered into refrigerated tanks. Consequently, the risk of bacteria contamination or souring during hot weather is eliminated, and the milk is stored under ideal conditions. Fleets of stainless steel road tankers make daily collections at all farms within the scheme. The tankers are refrigerated to protect the milk during transportation to the dairy. This dairy at Ricelip, Middlesex, one of the most modern in the country, is equipped to handle half a million pinters every day. On arrival, sample tests are made and the milk is then discharged into 6,000 gallon storage tanks, after which it is pasteurized and cooled. Bottle washing plant and filling machines make extensive use of stainless steel and complete the processing cycle. In short, from cow to consumer via stainless steel. In the chemical industry, stainless steel is equally prominent. The manufacture and handling of corrosive substances and medical preparations are largely dependent on the strength and corrosion resistance which our materials provide in production plant equipment. Similarly, in the exciting world of man-made fibers, polymer chips, which form the basic ingredient used in the production of brine nylon, are transported in special containers constructed from stainless steel plate. These containers are completely corrosion resistant and protect the material under all conditions. Leaving industry for a moment, take a look at these golf clubs. Recognize the stainless steel heads? Just watch this shot. Here's another unusual application which reduces polishing time at one of Sheffield's fire stations. There's no likelihood of splinters from this slide pole. It's one of several fabricated from stay bright stainless steel. Messing about in boats has become one of the most popular sports in Britain during recent years. There's an ever-increasing demand for fittings and accessories in our Staybright FMB steel for small craft just as much as ocean-going luxury yachts. Afloat or ashore, on motorboats or motorbikes, stainless steel improves performance. All the original bright parts of this motorcycle have been replaced in stainless steel. And even after a hard ride in the severest weather, a wash down in hot soapy water restores the original luster of the bright work. Since 1931, Rolls-Royce have used stainless steel for both functional and decorative components of their cars. 
On the one hand, silencers and exhaust systems, and on the other, their famous radiator grill. From the early days of aviation, we have pursued a program of continuous research into new steels for aeronautical applications. From airframe parts for early machines to annular components produced as sentry spinnings for turbo jet engines. The Bristol T-188, Britain's first supersonic research aircraft, was constructed almost entirely from our special steels. The knowledge gained from this experimental project will provide vital information in the development of aircraft of the future. These brief glimpses have shown you how stainless steel has met the challenge of progress through half a century. What of the future? Architecture is just one of the new and exciting applications. The Millbank Tower, which stands majestically on the Thames embankment, is a striking example of the effect which can be achieved with stainless steel. For the citizen of the future, there's a whole world of stainless steel. He can be confident we shall continue our policy of research into new steels and the development of new fabricating techniques and applications. As he ponders these things, let us remind you that our sales and technical service is based on the knowledge and experience gained over 50 years and is freely available to designers, engineers and fabricators. In fact, to everyone concerned with the use of stainless steel, whether it be for pen nibs, pressure vessels, teapots or turbines. Tomorrow's horizons are wide indeed. For the citizen of is stainless steel. <laughs>